Hey Ryan. Scarlet, why do you have so many bags packed in front of the house? Oh, didn't somebody tell you? I'm getting a divorce. But, but why? Well, it's just that the marriage has simply run its course. I am moving on. That is all. What do you mean? We've only been married two years, and... Right. And it's time for me to move on. Certainly you're ready to move on to, I assume. But, I had big plans for us when our careers finally wind down. And it seems you never made me a priority. Ha, 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 of course I didn't. You honestly thought we were supposed to take this marriage seriously? Oh my god. Are you that dumb and stupid? I've slept with Justin Timberlake, Josh Hartnett, Jared Leto, and about a hundred other hot older men that I don't care to remember. And of course, I even did it in an elevator with Benicio Del Toro. As you can see, monogamy is not in my vocabulary, ha ha ha. It should have been obvious to even a dime a dozen meatball like you, that I had to settle down for a while. All these stories and rumors about my sexuality were jeopardizing my reputation as an actress. The last thing I needed was to fall off the cliff altogether like Lindsay Lohan. That's why I married you. But you were married to people's sexiest man alive? You mean, were. And whatever, they give those awards out like candy. Next year, they will give that honor to the next hot piece of ass that they see on the street. It means nothing to me, and neither do you. Although, I will admit, it was fun while it lasted. Fun for me, that is. Remember the time you agreed to wear my skirts on a movie set for an entire week? Or the time you let me get behind you, while I was wearing a strap-on dildo? All this time, you thought you were doing this for me, because you treated this like some sort of commitment, while I was simply trying to keep myself entertained. That is two whole years of your life that you just wasted and will never get back. I feel so ashamed. Why are you being so mean to me? Wow, you really are dumb and stupid. They can put you in a group home with brain dead kids, and even they will mock you for being such a stupid idiot. Stop feeling so but hurt. Ha ha, but hurt. This is Hollywood, you moron. Our real lives are about as fake as the movies we star in. Stop taking this shit so seriously. The only person we look after in Hollywood is the one that we see in the mirror each day. We win awards, go on lavish trips, date and sleep with other hot actors, whatever it takes to advance our careers. What we accomplished before is yesterday's news. And this marriage to me is exactly what it is, yesterday's news. In fact, I already booked a trip to Jamaica to be with my girlfriends and celebrate my newfound freedom. Stop it, you cold-hearted, selfish whore. Ha, ha, you're a kettle calling the pot black. Jesus Christ, look at you. Everyone will see how sad and pathetic you are when you return to the Green Lantern set tomorrow. Imagine how bad you will look when they leak this to the tabloids. Chin up and start hanging out with someone who is not out of your league. Or better yet, drop this hot dude act right now and drop out of Hollywood altogether. Drown out your sorrows with sausages and be a normal Joe like everyone else. That way you will find someone who is just as much of a loser as you are. If you are not fit to handle Hollywood, then there is no way you can handle a hot slut like me. You will keep hanging out with women who will simply butt rape you in more ways than one. Ha, 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 you are such a loser. I'm glad I got out when I did. Now I'm off to Jamaica, to be with my girlfriends, and maybe later at night find some sausages of a different kind. The ones that you put in your mouth over and over again, and then put in between your legs when it's nice and hard. Just thinking about it is making me wet right now, I haven't had fresh meat in so long. Later, bitch.